Ha ba ba, ha ba ba, ha ba ba ha ba ba, ha ba ba. Buongiorno. Hi. Hello. Uh, Lucy. Me. It's my channel. Hello. <laughs> you know, for a pretty extroverted person, I really do have to hype myself up to be perceived. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about wearing yes style clothes for a week. And when I say week, I mean the loosest YouTuber interpretation of that word, which is just on days that I chose to be perceived <laughs> for the sake of this video. Now, if you do hear some little ASMR tappings in the background, that is my lovely boyfriend who is in the home office with me this week because we have been locked down slash not in our workplaces because Australia is sort of it's just, just Google it, it's fine. <laughs> so if you do just get the general aura of someone being a productive member of society, just know you're correct in your thinking, it's not me, it's him. <laughs> so today I just wanted to review my experience of wearing YesStyle clothes for a week. Now I have purchased from YesStyle before and I do have some YesStyle items in my closet and I feel like my experience is quite reflective of what I would say the general consensus is. Yeah, it was a mixed bag. <laughs> some was really good, some was not it. <laughs> Now I do just want to mention before we really jump into the thick of it, into the thick of it. that the yes style team did give me a 200 US dollar budget to make this video so shout out to the yes style team, appreciate it. So uh, I did try and obviously pick things that I like because but I did also pick up a couple of bits and bobs that were a little outside of my comfort zone or not necessarily something I would order on YesStyle. I tend to take quite a long time shopping on YesStyle because I'm really thorough with reading the reviews and just trying to get as much information as possible. I'm kind of like that with all online shopping, to be honest. I feel like there's an economics term for it or a marketing term. I don't really impulse purchase things. I will look at something and then I will look at all the reviews and the photos and the measurements and the information. And then I may marinate on that for a few hours and then I'll come back a few days later, look at all the reviews again. I just, I just, no, I'm a Libra is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm a Libra. <laughs> so I picked up enough pieces to make around a week's worth or a YouTube week's worth, which I suppose is five days, even though a week is seven days. But I always find that the week long videos tend to be five outfits which is totally valid anyway i made some outfits <laughs> so even though it is not a chronological week i hope you enjoy a sort of more vlog what i'm wearing kind of video i'll be popping back in in between the different items just to give you kind of mini reviews slash a summary of if i think the items are worth it or not but overall i hope you uh, enjoy this conceptual video <laughs> Okay, so this is the dress just on. Um, I don't mind the fit, it's a little tight. It's quite like stretchy here and there's like a little under slip as well. Um, it's probably, I mean, it doesn't look too short. It's pretty cute actually. So I'm going out to brunch to this cute little like kind of popular cafe and I thought this would be cute, but I'm gonna style it up with a couple things cause it's winter right now, so it's a little bit chilly. But I like how it looks like it's really flattering because um, it's got a nice bit of stretch in it. So I'm actually surprised. I kind of, when I took this out of the bag, I was like, this is gonna, uh, morning voice. When I took this out of the bag, I was a little bit worried, but actually wearing it on, it's pretty cute. The print itself is like, from afar, it looks nice. Up close, it's like a little blurry. So it's not really like a finished print. I would assume this is like a dupe of a more popular dress, but you know what, on, it looks pretty good. So I am gonna dress this up. I will show you my outfit and then I am going to brunch because I am a hungry little baby. Okay, and I've just popped a little beige cardigan on. This one's from 66 Girls. And I've got some little sandals. These are from Princess Polly. And this bag, which is from Peter and Jane. But I hope it's kind of like casual cottage core and hopefully it's cute for brunch. But I have to go because my friend Erin is gonna pick me up and we're gonna go together. I gotta go. Oh, you were smart to bring sunglasses. I did not bring sunglasses. <laughs> I don't leave home without them. But they mess up my makeup. So <laughs> it's kind of a, I, I've actually got my concealer in my oh. bag. Ooh. The Glossier stretch one. Oh, okay. That you got where's me. The, where's, oh yeah. <laughs> so that I can fix just where my sunglasses go. She's prepared. I'm not prepared. I always forget everything. So we ate breakfast, which was pretty solid. I ate some mushrooms and kale. So I have all my multivitamins uh, and because I've been so good at having my <laughs> <I just laughs> your bag just <laughs> 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 
and because I've been so good and covering the phone camera with my arm, I haven't vlogged in so long, uh, and have my vitamins, now we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> we're on the hunt for a new vitamin C. Yes. yes, I want a new vitamin C. Yes. And you think about the Summer Fridays one, which I am. I'm gonna spend some dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've tried so many. I feel like between the two of us, we've oh, tried. <laughs> we've got quite a library. We've got of quite a selection. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to a local shopping center in Shamsai. Wallaby, one, one. And they have a Sephora and a Mecca. Oh, and there's a dog! There's a dog out the window. Where? At the left. <laughs> Fluffy looks like um the Land Before Time popper. What's his name? Land Before Time? The, not the Land Before Time. <laughs> no, not that. Never ending story. <laughs> I was like, what dog They're is from that? the same era. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant dogs are from the same era as dinosaurs. <laughs> Can they not be? Um, maybe they were dinosaur dogs. I wasn't there. I... <laughs> really, Bruce? Honor? We live in a society. She's scooping. <laughs> it's like a she... threat. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Yeah. yeah. If you if you aren't the one wearing it, you don't notice things. Pardon? If you aren't the one wearing it, you don't yes. notice like the riding up and stuff. So I was just like, Lucy looks like a cute cottage core goddess today. Yeah. Oh, goddess of surprise. I was like, cottage core cute, like that's like it, but I was like, oh god. I think the dress is nice. I think if you like it, you should get it. It's very affordable. I think the price is like, I think it's less than 30 bucks. So yeah, you can't solid. go wrong with less yeah. than 30 bucks. Good for sitting in, maybe not so good for commuting. Alrighty, so this dress when I purchased it, and I think probably still, is one of the best selling dresses on YesStyle slash best selling piece of clothing overall, full stop dot com. And it's around the 20 to 25 US dollar mark, depending on when you purchase it. For 20 dollars US, which is like 26 dollars Australian, I don't think you can really complain for the quality that you're getting. Mm -hmm. And actually looking back at the footage as well, I'm really happy with how the dress looks. Material is nothing to write home about. I just think it's, I just think it's, it's, it's good. And I feel like I could go into even more minuscule detail, you know, how crispy the print is and you know, what the fabric is and whatnot. I, I could do that. <laughs> and I think if the dress was more expensive, because I think it's sort of like a house of CD mm, for love and lemons sort Sort of type of inspired thing and I think if it was that price I probably would go into that but for twenty dollars I think it makes sense that the colors a little off and the printing is a little blurry and you know the cord of the dress doesn't quite match the fabric of the dress like it's all kind of just nitpicking at that price point if you're looking for the perfect version of this dress I don't think this is it I was gonna say I'm pleasantly surprised but I don't know if I'm really surprised I think it's just about what I would expect. If it was worse than this, I think I'd be annoyed. And if it was better than this, I think I'd be surprised. So like, yeah, it, it's, it's good. It's pretty good. It's all right. <laughs> okay, don't mind the traffic and the roadworks. It is day two and I am just about to head out to work. I'm running a little bit late, so I have to go. The button here is slightly kind of like coming apart, but when I like tug it, it seems to look okay. Gosh, it's noisy. Those roadworks were going until like 1 a.m. last night, which I was like, is it? illegal. Is that a crime? I quite like the pinafore. It's pretty cute. I'm not sure about the color of the tunnel like, but the pinafore is cute. Um, I've just got my tote bag and my little black ankle boots and I'm gonna pop a jacket on as well, but I have to go like right now. <laughs> right now. We gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Bye. As much as I love you, I can't be bothered with you anymore. actually really am quite chuffed with the concept of this outfit. You know, not really. I mean, it's a dress with, <laughs> it's just the turn like under it. It's not really revolutionary. But I do think that the overall look was quite 
professional and very true to my style, which is kind of, you know, feminine, a little edgy, slightly alternative, but still, I was gonna say normie. <laughs> But if you're like me and you kind of want to, you know, inject a little bit of pizzazz, razzle dazzle into your office slash corporate look without it being, you know, not dress code appropriate. Corporate wear slash dress codes just stress me out to no end. Luckily, the place that I contract slash freelance for has a very business casual sort of vibe to it. So, you know, you can wear jeans and whatever. So it doesn't really matter. But I have worked in very corporate places before and I think this would still fly there if, if it's modern corporate. You get my drift. I think it's office appropriate. And not obsessed with the color of this. I just think it's a little too peachy apricot-y for my complexion. But that is very much a personal gripe. In terms of the quality and the feel, it's super soft, nice and thick. And I've tried quite a few different tonal necks on your style. Some of them have been very thin, very much layering pieces or pieces to skip. But this one is surprisingly plush. Nothing so thick that you would overheat and perish in your office area air conditioning. Good ND was around 14 to 15 US dollars, something around there. And you know, for a turtleneck that as a pretty basic item in your wardrobe for $14 and a decent quality, I would recommend it. I think it's a lovely item. This guy though, uh, as you saw in the video, it kind of wasn't big enough, but also it was and it was just how the buttons were sort of placed. Some of the buttons are pulled by, you know, the hippie boys or the bosom and other buttons are not pulled and it just can kind of create a bit of a weird vibe. Now I'm sure some people with a little bit more design slash seamstress mojo than I have could probably explain this phenomenon, but I do actually, I did actually have fabric and space look medical mystery. I would say the quality and the finish is on par with the first dress. It's really nothing special. The fabric isn't particularly exciting. It's like a polyester viscose kind of vibe. I'm not wowed by it. Um, well, I do like the concept of this dress. There are definitely more pinafore dress fish <laughs> in the sea, but I do think that if you wanted something like this, you could find something for around a similar price point or in the same price bracket on ASOS and it would have more sizes and just nicer quality overall. So, so the turtleneck is kind of the winner of that round. And this was sort of a bit of a flop. I don't know what to tell you, but like, I'm not really a morning person. So we're just gonna do this really screwed Come on. Oh, come on. Mandarins are in season. I'll go one sec. Hey, but hey, I think my makeup looks kind of cute today. Um, we should talk about the top, right? Hang on, I'll go to the other room. Hang on. Okay, so I am in a skedaddle off to work, but essentially uh, the outfit I picked out for today is like not really it fit kind of funny. And as much as I'm like memes, jokes, good for content, um, I do actually have to go to a workplace. <laughs> I don't really have anything to match with this cardigan actually. Um, so I've just paired it with this little like, white crop polo tee and then it just covers my stomach. But when I'm at this workplace, I wear this like massive hoodie that they gave me and I just put it over my clothes. So I'm not super worried about it being cropped. Um, but I'll just show you what I'm wearing with it. I've just got some little sneakers that are a bit dirty, just my feelers and my jeans that I really like. If I had a slightly different blue color jeans, it'd be cuter. I feel like it looks a little all in one, but I don't mind it. And the flowers are really cute. It feels really soft too. I'm really enjoying the quality. But anyway, I gotta go to work. I'm gonna get one of those coffees again. Anyway. This is the most corporate millennial thing in the world. The green juice, the cardigan. Mm. Girl boss. Oh, I just checked on it. <laughs> okay, so I am home from work. I'm just sitting at my desk because what do you want to do after you go and sit at a desk all day? Sit at another desk. Oh, my nose is all pink. <laughs> and when I got home from work, um, because I leave for work after my partner, uh, he hadn't seen when I wore to work and uh, I came home and he was like, cute cardigan. And I was like, nice. Cause we kind of have like different styles. So for him to be like, I like it. And I was like, it came up like a little bit, you know what I mean? But I'm mostly sitting down for like eight hours anyway. So it wasn't really a problem. I think pairing it with this like little collared top, um, which actually is also from your style, was a really good choice. Like I feel like it kind of dressed it up a bit and made it more like corporate casual. Yeah, I had a really good day today. It was like a really good work day. You know, when you have those days at work where it's like really chill and you just like listen to podcasts and music and you just like get your work done 
and you have like a good meeting, and you might go out for like a nice lunch. I went out for sushi for lunch as well. That was delicious. So let's talk about this cardigan and I don't really have a lot to say other than it was great and I enjoyed it. It was around 17 US dollars so for that price point I would say it's very consistent with Yes Style's typical quality. I'm gonna go ahead and say don't take a shot every time I say it for the price point but I feel like it's particularly relevant in Yes Style videos because Yes Style more than I think some other websites is very much kind of what uh, price point you sort of pay for. You tend to get that quality or well, that's what I found anyway. You're sort of more expensive brands on your style. So your Chew, your Hot Lips, Darba Girl. I find that those, the, the, the quality of them tends to be very consistent with the pricing. But some of the brands that to me at least do appear to be uh, sellers who are selling similar stock to what you can find on Aliexpress or Taobao. You know, the price points are really low and I think the quality is good for what you're paying, but it's not really any type of exceptional. This is not, you know, the softest cardigan. It's not, you know, the best cardigan, but I think for $17, I'm not mad at it. You know, it's cute enough. And while I do think pastels and cardigans and all of that is very in vogue right now in 2021, I have always liked pastels and cardigans and will very likely continue to like pastels and cardigans. So this guy's gonna be hanging out in my wardrobe for a little while. So, you know, I think it's a good bargain buy and I feel like it's a bit redundant for me to say in this video or any video, if you would like a really fancy nice cardigan, you should buy a fancy nice cardigan. You know that, you are smart to figure that out. <laughs> but if you have $17 and you would like a $17 cardigan, then this fits the bill. Hi guys, it is the next day. Um, I am working from home today. So as you can see, I am barren in the face. But I want to show you a little bit of like what the outfit for yesterday at the office was meant to look like. So it's this little cropped pink cherry cardigan, which I think is so adorable. Like little red buttons and the cherries, it's really cute. But then it has these collots and they're just like kind of, they fit, but they don't fit nicely. Um, as you can see, they're like baggy around the crotch. It's just a case of my hips and thighs being a little bit too big. The measurements made me think they would fit. And like, to be honest, it does, like it fits similarly to other pairs of cloths I have, um, but those ones have more of a kind of like a light flowing fabric, but this is a bit more thick, um, a little bit starchier, a bit less like flow. So it kind of like doesn't, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a seamstress, I'm just a gremlin woman. Any movement sort of makes them look a little bit interesting. I don't know, I like to be a little bit professional in the office because like I have to compensate for being like myself. <laughs> like I'll wear like a really cute, like super cute, like professional outfit and I'll be like, greetings comrades. And they're like, oh and yeah. And that was the other thing. It like is cropped. So it was like doing that. As progressive and lovely as my office is, I was like, I have trauma from a past office where I was body shamed. So <laughs> let's briefly touch on the outfit that I didn't wear because I didn't think it was wearable. Essentially just because of the dimensions of these gaucho, 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 gaucho. Colots. I'm just gonna go with colots. I think they're technically called gaucho pants, but I'm gonna call them colots because then I don't have to sound like a dummy. These pants were not long enough in the waist to crotch region, which just meant that it created a very interesting baggy situation at the front, which there are definitely pants where I don't mind them being, you know, really fitted in that region and it can just be a whole moment, but this is not one of those moments. It just looks poorly fitted because it is. You know, they're, they're nice though. I think if you're maybe a bit shorter than me, you might have a good time, I guess. If you're looking for a pair of red gaucho office pants, <laughs> you're in luck. But unfortunately, because I couldn't wear these, the whole situation became unwearable because funnily enough, I did check. I do actually need to wear pants to work. So these were 23, 24 US dollars. I keep saying a range because it's always sort of a random price on your style. But for a pair of pants under $25, you know, <laughs> I feel like half this video is me just being, it's fine, they're all right. And I would probably go to Uniqlo for a pair of pants, which are nicer quality. You know, they're decently thick and everything like that. There's nothing really wrong with them. I just can't really give you an accurate view because I couldn't wear them and they just don't look right on me. The cardigan is a slightly more interesting situation. This cardigan I think is 
quite a bit nicer quality and feel to it than the blue one. The blue one was a bit more of that sort of fluffy textured knit, whereas this is definitely more of a silky kind of feel. With the blue cardigan, I did pair it with a top underneath, and I think wearing the blue cardigan on its own would be a stinky situation. No, not really, but it's not a natural fiber. So I think if you wore it close to your skin all day, you would get a little bit sweaty. It wouldn't be the most comfortable. Hence why I paired it with a top underneath because I just figured that would be the best scenario. This one, however, I do think you could just wear on its own. The fabric just seems a little softer, a little more skin friendly, if that makes sense. It's definitely a little more candy colored and bright than I sort of imagined it would be. I thought it might be a bit more muted and sort of not quite what I was after, but in terms of the overall quality and look, I'm I'm not mad at it at all. I think it's quite adorable, quite fun. The buttons aren't my favorite and this may seem like a nitpick, but they are obviously, a, you know, an accent button. They're, they're red. They could have made them pink or, you know, clear or whatever, but they decided to make them red, which is great. We love a design detail, but they are actually a different red to the color of the cherries, which when they're situated so closely to me really distracts the eye. I realize I'm being super pedantic, but I it's my consumer rights, goddammit. Very true to its label, uh, fashion sexy lounge. I don't know about sexy, but maybe fashion lounge. This one was around the $20 mark, so a couple dollars more than the blue one. And to be honest with the quality and everything, I think it makes sense. But <laughs> the random design detail, the slightly mismatched buttons makes me feel like it shouldn't be. I feel like that's very classic yes style, isn't it? <laughs> um, if you've been looking for a little cherry cardigan, I think for the $20 mark. This is, uh, you know, kind of a steal, but you might want to replace the buttons. Or it might not bother you as much as it bothers me. <laughs> Hello, it's Lucy, and it's been a few days. Uh, so I guess this isn't technically a, like, wearing yes style for a week. It's more like wearing yes style over the course of several days, not necessarily together. But I thought I would come here and say hello because I think we need to do our next portion <laughs> because my stay just announced a lockdown. Wow, 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 wow. So I thought I should go get some groceries. So I thought I could wear this outfit. Um, and the top part, hello. I love this top. I think it's so, so adorable. You can adjust like the amount of ruching you want. I quite like the ruching because it gives like a nice sweetheart like neckline kind of thing. Although it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> Maybe I'll like re-ruch that in a sec. But I also have this pair of shorts. Um, so they were longer and I've rolled them up a bit and I would roll them up a bit more. I'm not obsessed with them. I actually am surprised that they like fit. I just don't think they flatter me a lot. And I swear I'm not trying to make excuses to like not wear them outside, but it is winter. So it's actually quite cold. So I'm like, come on, they're not my favorite and it's winter. I don't think they're bad. I just don't think like, I don't really wear denim shorts a lot. I don't really wear shorts a lot. Um, and the one pair of shorts that I do have that I really like is like tailored at the waist and they flare out quite a bit. So they're really, really flattering. Um, this is a bit, I don't know, it freaks me out a bit. But that seems like something I probably need to work through. They're just not the best, are they? But the top's really cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna head out now. Gotta have my mask on. And I just put a cardigan on because it's a little bit chilly and my one pair of jeans that I wear all the time. <laughs> So yeah, all right, let's get at all because I don't want to miss the bus. And I think I might be meeting with my boyfriend for like a little coffee or something, which would be cute. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, briefly touching on these denim shorts. Now, denim shorts, something risky. Would not normally do that on your style, but you know, when in Rome, and by when in Rome, I mean when you have uh, credit to try things that you normally wouldn't. Pleasantly surprised that they fit okay. They aren't the denim shorts of my dreams, but they are serviceable. And you know, for 24 US dollars, something like that, a serviceable pair of denim shorts is admirable. <laughs> I say it with such kindness in my eyes, admirable just decent, <laughs> bare minimum. They're probably not the most flattering cut for me or the best cut, but probably some of the best for me on Yes Style. So shout out to that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that I'm settling. <laughs> would I wear them on top of a bikini at the beach? Sure. Are there other things that I would probably wear instead of that? Probably. <laughs> It's hard for me, right? Because they weren't ideal. So I can't, you know, tell you that it fulfilled all my dreams because they didn't. But who's to say it wouldn't fulfill all of your dreams for the low, low price of $24? 
So there's that. But yeah, I ultimately didn't wear them out because it wasn't the vibe, it wasn't the moment, it wasn't really feeling it. I did actually quite like this top, however. It definitely gives me manga slash anime slash Korean webcomic girl going on a date kind of vibes. It was also around $12, which, and I, I tend not to use the word cheap, but I'm gonna go ahead and say $12 for this top is cheap. It's a cheap top. I think this is probably one of the wins of the video because I think for the price point and the look, it's quite successful in what it sets out to do. Oh, hello. Welcome back. It's not something that, you know, when I wear it, I just look like a beautiful shining angel. I just look like a woman wearing a nice top. And I think, you know, sometimes that's good, that's fine. So, solid top. <laughs> And now we come to a segment where I didn't really have a try on portion for this. And throughout this video, you've probably realized by the roots slash color of my hair that time has passed <laughs> since I filmed these initial clips. We have been in and out of lockdown for a hot Sekaruni and I had kind of kept this outfit to wear to something and that something and occasion will not arrive, which has been fine actually, because I haven't actually figured out how to wear it. So the skirt is this mini skirt, which was really popular on the website. It's not something I would normally go for. Um, it's just very small. <laughs> and you know, I figure when something's that small, it can't be high-waisted and cover my whole butt, but you know, dare to dream. But it was quite sheer, really short, and just one of those things where I knew I would have to constantly be on skirt alert to make sure that I don't flash the world, which again, I'm not opposed to, but I think consent is king. So while my level of pride and dignity is not such that it would be so hurt if something accidentally slipped out, uh, I, I don't wish that upon unwilling victims because that would be bad. It's a cute skirt in theory, you know, a little sage 90s Y2K moment. And the reason why I got this 90s Y2K moment is to pair it with this 90s Y2K top. And here's the picture. I have not been able to, for the life of me, for weeks, been able to figure out how I'm meant to wear it. And I keep thinking I'm missing something and I think I must be because it's just so large. And maybe I got the wrong size. I think I might have but I only got, I think a medium, or maybe it was only one size, but I just don't, I don't get it. But it, the straps aren't adjustable. So I just, I'm still really lost. So I figured I should try a final time with you now to see if I can figure out how I meant to wear this. So I purposely wore a bra that is not nude colored so that Susan won't demonetize me. So I looked at the picture and I think I may have interpreted it wrong because I thought it was kind of a, crop top kind of vibe, but I don't think it is. But I still think it's not gonna work because I looked at the picture and this is very much a inspired design, to say the least, in that the picture had one that had adjustable straps and this very much does not have that. So it seems like we have been scummed. Oh, okay, I think I worked it out. It looks silly though. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think this is the bra you're meant to wear with it. I think you would have to wear a sticky bra or something like that, but that just, I can't be mad at it. Well, no, I can be mad at it. It's not really <laughs> what I ordered. Look, I think if you're someone with similar chesticles to my own, this may not be a simple outfit choice, <laughs> which I suppose I kind of knew when I purchased it, but I think if it had adjustable straps, that would be less of an issue because then you could just tighten it so that nothing would, you know, escape. <laughs> just like a single boob. He's escaping! I definitely get the vibe. I'm really obsessed with these tops and corsets and dresses and everything by this Australian brand called Dis Dispnia. Why did I stumble saying that? Dispnia. And their stuff is definitely a little bit more expensive. I just think everything from them is so magical. And I just bring it up because I think it's the same kind of thing, except this doesn't hold a candle to it at all. But you know, maybe. So that was me wearing Yes Style outfits for a week question mark-ish. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I kind of really like doing little vlog pieces of content. So I don't know if you'd want to, you know, do a come thrifting with me sort of vlog or something like that. So if it's okay with you, if you're open with it, if you're willing to, I don't know what that movement was, <laughs> nurture, <laughs> nurture this budding relationship that we have. I'd love to do some more content like it, so let me know what you think. Of course, I'm gonna list all of the items that we chatted about today in the description box below, along with the sizes and any other important details. I also just wanna, you know, float this concept 
but I have some other yes style kind of content I'm thinking about making about skincare slash makeup you know I know I do fashion content but skincare is a really big passione of mine so if that's something you would be interested in let me know down in the comments below we can chat about skincare makeup but I kind of want to incorporate that a bit because I am definitely a k-beauty j-beauty diehard fan <laughs> and have been for many many years that would be something I'd be keen on I don't know if you'd be keen on it but maybe you know we can arrange something I don't know and as always thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye